good morning good morning what's going on guys <laughs> welcome to another day um i'm here to do communion as you know we do communion every monday we ask that you do not partake in communion if you are living in sin okay you do not want to drink damnation upon yourself um go ahead and get your bread and your juice i'm coming out of first corinthians thank you holy ghost first corinthians chapter 11 um, verses 22 through 26, I believe it is. Um, let me get there. Oh, 23. Um, first Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 through 26. And it says, or let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time that you've allowed us to gather, Father God, to partake in the Lord's Supper once again. Excuse the noise, you guys. Once again, Father God, thank you for the shed blood of Jesus. Thank you for sending your only begotten Son to die for our sins so that we may be able to come boldly to the throne of grace, accepting mercy, God, and surrendering our lives to you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, it says, For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you on the night when he was betrayed. The Lord Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks, broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. You may eat. Thank you, Jesus. In the same way, also, he took the cup after supper and said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. You may drink. Thank you, Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for being able to partake in the Lord's sacrament, his body and his blood in his DNA, Father God, once again. Father God, we do this in remembrance of Jesus and out of obedience and reverence and thankfulness for what he has done for us until he comes back again. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I will see you guys in the next one. Be blessed.